Hi, I'm Maria Killam, the True Color Expert. I'm going to show you how to use large painted samples in order to find the right color for walls, trim, and cabinets. I spent years working with these large samples versus a tiny little fan deck like this, and that was actually how my Understanding Undertone system was born that I teach in my ebooks, webinars, and color training courses. So the first thing you want to do when you're thinking about choosing a color for your walls is look at all the big elements in your space. So what that means is if you have tiny little blue flowers in your duvet or your carpet, that's not enough to paint your walls blue. You want to look at the color of your sofa, your drapery, what's the color of your carpet, your tile, the stone around your fireplace. These are all of the places that are going to give you a clue to finding the right color. So obviously choosing color for your trim and your cabinets are a little bit different and I'm going to show you that too. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is show you the difference between using large versus small samples. So one mistake that we make quite often is we lay out all of our samples directly on a flat surface like a table or the floor. Everything's laid out at the same horizontal angle. So the problem is, is that your paint color is not going to be on top of the carpet. Your paint color is actually be on the wall like this. So this is first of all where it needs to be. And then it still becomes hard to be confident that you've made the correct decision. So I'm going to show you how I work with large samples in order to be sure that I've made the correct color choice. So first of all, I've got these two samples here that I'm showing you. Now, um, I just grab these from my kit of samples, turn them around. You can use any white paper that you have or a white poster board. But it's important to create white space between the old color versus the new color. So now I'm going to place the samples one by one on the, so that you can see what I'm doing. So I've got the blue gray sample first, and then the green gray sample. Now I've got the green beige sample, the pink beige sample, and the yellow beige sample. So now you can see all the undertones together next to the carpet. So we're going to assume that this carpet is wall to wall throughout a rental perhaps that you need to paint the walls or it's a spec house and you're not going to decorate this house. So we're going to choose a color that actually works the best with the carpet and you can probably even see which one it is right now. So the first thing I want to show you is what the old color looks like versus the new color. So when, you've, when you're comparing your new colors against the old backdrop, it becomes really hard to isolate it in your mind. So you remove that so you've got the white, sp white space behind it. Now it becomes easy to see that if you were actually trying to match a wall color to the carpet, that the blue gray and the green gray could immediately be eliminated as possible options. Now you're left with the green beige the pink beige and the yellow beige. So now you can see that the pink beige is the one that needs to be removed, so we remove that. Now you've got the green beige and the yellow beige left. Both of those look good with the carpet, but if we were looking for the one that matched perfectly, we would remove the yellow beige and we'd be left with the green beige sample that was a perfect match to the green beige carpet. Now you could bring in darker or lighter choices and then decide which one do I like the best. Do I want to have a little contrast, keep this wall color really neutral, or do I want to have a darker color? And that's how you choose a color to go with your carpet. Next, I'd like to show you how to choose a cabinet or a trim color using large sample boards. So each collection has approximately 10 whites. So you'd lay them all out. Here I'm showing you the continuum of whites. And you can also see that I've surrounded the sample with white. Now, if this was a floor or a countertop sample in your home, you would line up the samples just like I've done here on your kitchen floor against your countertops or on your backsplash if it was your countertop we were looking at. Now, this is a blue-white. We've got our true white here. We've got the off-white here. And we have the cream sample here. So you can easily see just by comparing all of these samples that we can safely eliminate the off-white and the cream. So now we have a choice to make. Do we paint our cabinets white with coordinating trim in the same white? Or do we paint our cabinets a blue-white with the true white trim? 
and that's how you choose a white for your cabinets. Next, I'd like to show you how to choose a color for a vertical surface. So if this is the tile in your bathroom surround, or if it's the tile around your fireplace surround, or if it's stone, the thing not to do is don't take your samples, your color samples, and plunk them right in the front of the tile. Because you can't see which color you prefer because, again, this is not where your paint color is going to go. Your paint color is going to go on the wall beside your tile, beside the stone. And once you place your samples right beside where you're going to paint, even though this seems really basic, I promise you, this is the best way to find the right color. So now you know how to use large painted color samples. And I just want to give you this one last tip, even though it might sound a little bit repetitive. So take all of the choices that you have made and assemble and stack them in the same position that they would be if they were installed. So that means you've got your tile on the floor, your countertop sample on top of the tile. You've got your backsplash and your paint color vertical because that's how it's going to look when it's installed. And then surround everything with white like I've shown you here. And once you do this, you'll be able to see that you have made all the correct color choices. Now, if you only need two or three samples, you can paint these up yourself, and I highly recommend that you do that. But if you're a design professional, or you're someone that needs to choose a lot of paint colors, you're gonna want your own collection for yourself. So click on the button below to see which curated collection is the best for you.